What do you think of the studio, buddy? Do you like it? Hmm? Do you like it? All right, so let's start off with my desk area. This is my laptop. I use her to basically, this is the script for this video. <laughs> and I basically use her for like editing footage and stuff. This is a 2013, um, no, sorry, it's a 13 inch 2020 MacBook Pro. And uh, let's see, over here I have some snacks. This is the sourdough brownie that I made or whatever's left of it. And this here is my passion planner. I just recently got this guy. I'm really excited to start using it more. It's basically like a goal oriented planner system. And then over here we have some sketching tools. So I have my favorite mechanical pencil, my kneaded eraser, and then some washi tape for when I hang things up on the wall. And this is a selfie adapter for my canvas lamp. It basically goes like right here or in one of these holes. And it like makes it so that you can switch out um, the little phone mount here to sort of be able to film this way instead of on top, like, like this. So anyway, this is over here. I have some bobby pins for when I put my hair up, this pencil sharpener, and this is my old trusty palette scraper. So if you follow me on Instagram, you'll definitely have seen this guy before. I often post pictures of my palette scrapings because I think they're really pretty. And let's see, back here we have an Etcher sketchbook and a Strathmore watercolor um, sketchbook. I don't use these super often right now. Um, they're my main gouache sketchbooks though, so when I work in gouache I, I use those. And then I have this little Rosemary & Co. sticker, a hair scrunchie, and some watercolor inks back here. And this is this little, um, I like this story actually, it's this cute little, um, a little origami cube that my boyfriend made me because he's the cutest person to ever exist ever and um this is my water bottle over here and then i have just this painting in here right now it's like a little black um moth gouache painting and this little gold holder thing and then over here is a painting that i haven't done anything with actually um i finished this a few weeks ago but i need to sign it and maybe add a couple finishing touches but it's dry, so it just kind of is living there right now. And then I have some old Lush bottles that I'm recycling as plant misters. And then this is um, what I use to disperse my oil painting medium. It's like an atomizer bottle that you'd find in the kitchen. And this is a remote shutter for my camera. And this is some soft mixing light. I get this shit in bulk because I use it so much. Um, and that just basically sits out. And then here we have my oil painting palette. It's very pretty. I love the colors that I use. <laughs> it's just so nice. And then over here we have some tape. And this is my little fern. Well, it's not really little. It's my fern. It's an autumn fern actually. Um, and it's supposed to kind of like change colors but it's not really doing that. It's pretty solidly green at the moment, but I'm thinking that's probably because it's summer and it'll change once the temperature starts to cool down a little bit. And this is a panel that I have drying right now. This, so my desk is from Ikea actually. Sorry, I should have said that. And this desk chair is really comfy. I spent forever finding the desk chair that I wanted. I know I had to have wheels. Um, and this guy has wheels. And I want it to be comfy and yeah. I'm not sure how I feel about it being white. It is really pretty, but it already has some paint on it, as you can see. <laughs> I've got some paint on this bad boy, um, which I think is fine. I knew that going in, like, I would be getting something that would get paint on it eventually, but anyway. Um, then I have my trash can down there, and um, this is clear gesso and GAC 100, which I use to prep my oil painting panels. And then I have, I think I can take this out for you guys can see it. This is, um, this is a glass palette that's adhered to a masonite board. And basically what you would do with this is you would sort of put it on the easel. I won't right now because I have panels back here that are wet, but you'd put it on the easel and then you'd have like a vertical mixing surface. So that's over there. And then this drawer 
cabinet thing is from Ikea as well. And I have a bunch of paints in here. This top drawer is full of the paint colors that I use the most. So we have my Luminous Opera, Luminous Orange, the Thalos and Cadmiums and stuff. And then in the second drawer, we have some overflow paints. So paints that I use less often, but still want to have like reasonably close and on hand. And these are all of my gouache paints. I have some acrylic gouache down there, a super old palette back here, Arteza gouache, I mean, M. Graham, all a bunch of gouache. And then here we have my watercolor selection, which I don't use very often at all, actually. So we have some tubes, some pans, palette, um, some old watercolor markers. And then under here, this is just some, some odds and ends, basically. I have this pencil case, a bunch of paint markers, color pencils. And then further down here is just some overflow. So I have some more pencils back here. This guy is what I use to clean off my desk and some more washi tape, this ceramic palette, and then the instructions for my easel. And then moving down here, we have this lower shelf of my easel, which I put my favorite painting books in and like art instructional books. So we have some instructional sketchbooks from Juliet Aristides, some classical painting, traditional painting methods, um, technique books, and some palette painting paper, and small panels and then if we go up I use like this lower bracket basically to put my rags on so it makes it really convenient to sort of like take some paintbrushes and just like do that and then up here we have my easel I'll zoom out a little bit I have some pa um, some painting panels drawn in there right now I put um, really bright underpaintings on all of my panels so yeah those guys are drawing, that guy's drawing, and then sneak peek, I have a bunch of more drawing over there. <laughs> I um, basically batch prep my panels for painting. Um, so these guys are dry, and then I'll be able to make a whole new collection of work. And then this is my easel cart over here. I have this gesso brush right here, a ruler, some odds and ends, an extra palette knife is back there. And then I have some mediums over here. I use um, mediums from Chelsea's Classical Studio, they're non-toxic mediums. And if you want to learn more about non-toxic painting, you can check out my video, which I will link above. And then I have some rags on these, um, these drawers because they're like, sort of like that and I don't want stuff leaking down. So we have some more brushes. These guys are drawing right here. And then I have my trusty art guard, which is like, you basically put this in your hands to prevent um, any oil paint from like getting on your hands and like being toxic and bad. And this is how I store my paint brushes. I have smaller brushes over here and I have like basically flats and then transitioning more to rounds with like fans being over here. And then the same pattern follows up here. I have the big brushes cur curving like along the edge and then as they get smaller as we move toward the center. So we have flats, filberts, rounds, fans. And then like, you know, this short stubby guy over here, I think qualifies as a round. And yeah, I have brushes from like all sorts of brands. A lot of my newer ones are from Rosemary & Co, but I have some Princeton brushes too, um, and various things. And like, is this a Princeton? I have some that are like so old, I can't, I don't even know what they are. Like it's just completely ripped off. Um, I think I got that in my first ever oil painting class when I was being taught how oil paints work before I even had any of this stuff. And over here is this old dresser. This is um, a family heirloom type of thing, actually. And I use it to put some books on because there's really no place else for it in the house. So it holds my books, sketchbooks, and some of my plants as well as like panels. I don't know if I'm ever going to revisit these paintings. They're pretty old, but... Yeah, so we have my trusty begonia up here and then these two ivies. This one I've had for a long time and then um, this guy is much longer. And then I have some books and sketchbooks, a lot of sketchbooks, some instructional things and framed pictures. 
and over here I have panels that are drying like I said and then I have a collection of frames that I took from thrift stores and the drawers basically just hold more art supplies so I have some oil pastels and a gouache palette and some sketchbooks back here and then on this side some odds and ends for filming and stuff I have like these command strips two cans of spray paint a light bulb these are like optional lenses that clamp onto my phone's camera. Oh. Hello, spook. Okay. Well, let's continue. And behind my easel, I have some small panels back here um, that I haven't used yet. These guys still need to be prepped some more. And then back behind this dresser on this side, I have some oil painting paper um, this trusty wooden board thing, my old table easel, and then this, this long boy right here is actually part of a cast iron bed. This space is actually supposed to be a guest bedroom, so we have the other part of that bed over there in the ugly corner that we'll talk about in a second. And let's see, in this closet, it's basically like just storage. So we have a softbox light here in the stand, and then some more panels. Um, this toolbox here actually has all of my acrylic paints in it and then some other painting stuff back there. And then up here we have even more painting panels. This is actually a color chart that I made and that I reference pretty often actually even though I need to make a new one. And here we have my paper collection. So we have all of my oil painting paper, a bunch of watercolor paper. It's back there. And here we have some old paintings. So back when I did acrylic pouring, um, have some stuff back here. I have some panels that I should like really paint over because they're all ugly. And then this is actually my oil ground um, under here and some sandpaper and like the rollers because you should roll your oil ground on your, on your panels. And then I have, um, this is like special wrapping paper basically it's like parchment paper but it's not and i uh i package paintings in that and this is a super old painting back here it's an astronaut i'm not gonna take it out but it's an astronaut and then we have some foam core board back there that i use for photographs and then closing that oh up here we have just like i don't know more storage more painting stuff a couple of frames up here that i'm gonna put stuff in eventually and like winter jackets and things. Okay, and then yeah, my desk is over there. And then this is my little cat box for the young man you saw earlier. It's covered in cat hair, he scratches this thing. We need a scratching post type of thing basically in every room for him. Are you coming in again? Again? You want a pet? Yeah, you do. Do you want a rope? Okay. Cool. All right. It was good seeing you, buddy. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna I'm close the door now. Oh, you want to come in? Okay. Okay. You're gonna come in. Okay. Now we have a special guest. Hi, buddy. Yes. Yes, you are a good one. Okay. <laughs> and then. Um, over here we have some more panels. These guys are bigger. This hulking thing back here is actually part of that cast iron bed that I was talking about. It sort of spans this whole space. Oh, you want to go out now? You, yeah, you want to go out? Okay, you're not going to come back in. Just so you know. You're having second thoughts now, huh? No? Okay. 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 And then <laughs> we have more um, of this bed like I was talking about. And then I put all my bigger panels back here. So back when I did acrylic pouring, I ordered three of these like massive 24 inch rounds. Um, and I have yet to do anything with them. So they're sitting there. And then we have some more old acrylic pouring pieces back here and some more oil painting panels back there. This fan or box with some of my old pieces in it and some sketchbooks over there. These are the sketchbooks. And then this Honeywell fan that helps keep me cool in the summertime. I recently, um, I picked up some pieces from my old gallery, so yeah, some of these guys that I'm gonna 
This is my favorite piece probably that I've ever done. So I'm definitely gonna keep this. I need to hang it up somewhere, but the rest of these guys, I think I'm gonna sell. So we have some oil painting paper back here, a picture frame back there. These guys are like, I think they're supposed to be like matte board for framing, but I use them for like backdrops basically. So if you see like the orangey yellow um, background on my Instagram feed, that's usually this. And then this is a dark blue one that I haven't used, but I, I think I might go, I might eventually, I don't know. So yeah. My cat likes to come in here a lot, as we've seen. So I have his old dining chair in here for him. And then this is my soft box light. It helps illuminate the room a little bit more when it is cloudy and sad outside. Oh, hello. And over here we have this window. It has the beautiful view of facing the side of my neighbor's house. But if you look close, you can see their window right there. So theoretically I could wave to them, but I think it's too high up for them to see. So I, I don't do that. But I have my hard drive over here. This is a five terabyte WD hard drive and then my Samsung SSD. So this is like an H HDD, an external HDD. And then I have just my air plant that my boyfriend gave me last Valentine's Day. And some scrunchies and an old jar. And this is a vent, it's very exciting. And yeah, above my desk, I have this gallery wall. So I did this moth piece up here and then that hand painting. And these guys are some prints from Lee Ellickson's postcard pack. Um, this is actually like half of one, I cut it in half and then the other half is somewhere. It might be that blue cat over there actually, if you see that one. And yeah, I have this print from Natalie Anderson and some postcards that I got, um, I think in Amsterdam, either Van Gogh and Monet prints respectively. And this is like a little swatch card for my watercolor palette. I don't actually use it, I just kind of like the way that it looks. And this is a painting that I did um, of a wildfire in Alaska that I drove through one time, which was exciting. And this is the framed final result of the Van Gogh landscape painting time lapse that I actually have on my YouTube channel if you want to see that. You can totally do that. And this is a painting that I did. It's covering up Natalie Anderson print because I am too lazy to frame this right now. So it just kind of lives there. Good boy. Okay. And then I have this guy. It's like a little, I don't, I don't know what they're called actually, but anyway, it lives here. It's like a little backdrop to some of my videos or it will be in the future, I guess. But yep. So yeah, oh, and my, on my easel cart over here, I have like some pencil holder things. These are like my pens and my graphite sketching pencils. And then back here we have my colored pencils and some markers, extra brushes. This is a varnish brush. And then um, like the boxed Prismacolor thing. And then back here I have more rags. These aren't fully soiled. I do dispose of rags properly. Um, and then all of my oil painting mediums and varnishes and stuff back there. <sighs> so, yeah, I think, I think that's everything. Oh boy, okay. I'm a little out of breath actually for talking for so long, but yeah. So that is the art studio tour. I am sorry that half of my studio is kind of ugly. Um, but I do hope you liked this video. I hope you found it informative, aesthetically pleasing, and slash or useful. So yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more. Next week's video is actually going to be me talking about something. I'm not sure what. Let me look it up. Okay, so next week's video is going to be me talking about my oil painting process from start to finish. I'm going to be painting something. I don't know what yet probably a mountain. If I had to guess, knowing me, it's going to be a mountain. So yeah, make sure to subscribe, stick around for that. You're going to want to see it because my oil painting process is kind of cool. At least I think so. I hope it's cool. All right. And from our guest, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.